What I discovered in this exploration of the inner world, um, I have been lucky. I've been um, blessed by coming across a number of awakened beings and many, many different angels and guides that they have guided me and they gave me the clue and and through the grace of Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the Supreme Intelligence, I was lucky to be guided despite all the stuff that I've done and all the ups and downs I've had that I was able to discover my path and I was lucky that I could stay on this path and be focused on it and discover the treasures that was hidden within myself. And I would have not been able to do it if it wasn't through the grace of my teachers. And uh, out of that, I'm very grateful. And I felt like it's truly time for me to share this with the world and share this with my audience and anyone who is interested, uh, who wants to benefit from this. And they also would like to find out for themselves the path to inner peace and inner happiness. So... I look at the world, I look at life, and it's an ever-changing endeavor that is constantly changing from one thing to another. And very quickly I realized that as soon as I'm trying to hang on to a part of it, it changes to something else. So this life that I live in is based on constant change. And very quickly I realized that I can't invest on a life and a world that is completely changing from one thing to another and I'm trying to make sense out of it and try to create this idea of security in it. I'm trying to figure out a way that I feel secure in it. And obviously I'm looking at everybody else around me who's trying to do the same thing. And as I grew up and as wisdom came, I realized that such a thing does not exist in that in that sense. A security in the world, to secure myself in the world based on a world that is changing constantly. But through that, by recognizing that's not where my safety and security is, and through this constant change, I realize that there is something which is changeless. Everything constantly is changing, including my thoughts. My thought stream, sometimes it increases, it's higher, sometimes it's lower. Lower. My emotions, they're constantly changing. And a lot of times my moods, it's based on the news that I get and based on what is happening in my surrounding, whether things are going my way or they don't. When things go my way, I'm very happy, I'm satisfied, I'm at peace. And then when things don't go my way, I crash. I'm upset, I'm depressed, I'm afraid. I, I'm not satisfied. 
And for me, that wasn't good enough. And also, seeing my body, how the body is changing, and as it's aging, all kinds of different things happen to it. It's got its malfunctions. It doesn't repair itself as quickly as it used to. Um, Something that I trusted, something I thought I inherited, and something that I invested in as believing this is who I am. And so as I'm going forward on this path, I start to recognize things, realize things, that all of these things are changing all the time. If I start with myself, is my mind, my thoughts, my desires, my constant ever-changing emotions, and my body. Then if I take my attention outside of myself, and I bring my focus to the outer world, then, which is constantly changing, the fashion, the auto industry, the economy, the weather, the world weather, climate changing, governments coming and going, systems changing, countries, in my lifetime I've seen countries dissolving and coming together. I have seen countries disappear and new countries being born. So even countries are not on solid ground and they're insecure. Also Earth, the planet Earth that we're standing on and we're living on it and we're being fed by it and supported, it's changing all the time. There's volcanoes, there's hurricanes, there's climate change, there is um, all kinds of different things, fires. So it's formation changes and it looks changes. And sometimes it can be very intense and or subtle. So how many times does the rug have to be pulled from under my feet for me to wake up, to not put my investment and trust on something that is constantly changing? How many times does that have to happen? How many times I fell in love with a woman and I thought this is the one and she walked away. Or I got tired of her, or something happened, or life took us to separate ways. Or death separated us, or whatever. How many times I thought financially I'm secure, and I got all my plans and everything is exactly the way I want it, and that fell apart. How many people have been millionaires and billionaires, and they've lost everything in an economic shift? Or you may say they made bad investments, or, or whatever happened. We can see it happening right now. How many times you've seen Governments fall apart. Kingdoms disappear. How many famous people fell off grace? Whether they're spiritual teachers or they're religious leaders or politicians or musicians, actors, athletes, that they're on top of their game and something happened and they fell off the grace. 